then mucking about. The band's connection with their growing fan base didn't just take place at their concerts. It also happened online. After a while, it turned out that we could just go onto the internet at midnight and there'd be people talking. You know, and essentially they'd be talking about us. So, so from my point of view, it was... You know, that, that, that was something which we loved and wanted to milk. And then we, and then we sort of go on and go, hey, it's me. The Libertines pioneered new ways for bands to use the internet. Not least when they posted invites to last-minute sing-alongs on their website. Such gigs would take place in pub back rooms or at the houses of fans or even more extraordinary locations. They played a gig in their own house. They advertised it on the internet and said, come tomorrow, we're playing a gig at our house. Um, this was actually after they played the Astoria, 2,000, uh, 2000 people at the Astoria. They came and advertised it. Nobody believed them. Why would anybody play a gig in their own house? It's insane. You get short of a few quid, so you just get down the internet calf, whack it up, tenors on the door tonight, and sort of last minute gigging, whack out a half an hour set, clear out the flat, and then you can pay your rent and your grocery bills and shit. I'd have paid a tenor to go around Noel Gallagher's house and see him play, but apparently he's a bit moody. Not everyone thought that guerrilla gigs were a good idea. Of course, the coppers rolled in and broke it up the end. But you know what? Even that was turned into a magnificent gesture because as the, as the police are running up the stairs, Pete looks at Carl, Carl looks at Pete, and they start singing uh, the Guns of Brixton by The Clash. This was it. This was not about marketing. This wasn't about the Britpop style of, you know, you pose, you get up on stage, you know, you sneer a bit and then you're done. This was genuine. So, is that over yet? <laughs> Same time next week. Oh, sweetie, I can't the group were happy to play up to their lawless image. But when Doherty's rock and roll lifestyle started to spin out of control, it led to tensions within the band.